This is Baja. That's me, Dana Brown. Just before the and this is my father, Bruce. Low, in 1965, Dad and his friend, Del Cannon, journeyed down the Baja Peninsula of Mexico. No pavement, 1,000 miles, an adventure few took. Rides that would spawn the Baja 1000. Today, the adventure remains. The tradition is still alive in a place that defies time. People still challenge the Baja. It can transform, bond, or hurt you. The degree of difficulty unchanged. I returned to Baja to follow four riders, two first-timers, Marcus Boyle and Mike Clater, as well as Baja veteran Mark Daniels. They were led by motorcycle legend Carlin Dunn and his mentor, Chris Ebers, a.k.a. Big Daddy. I started hanging out with Big Daddy's son. We became really good friends, and his whole thing was going down to Baja. And I met Chris, and Chris took me under his wing and brought me down here and changed my life. On that first morning south of the border, you feel fresh, you feel invincible. I'm gonna do a big jump, show off, and I squirreled out. And the only thing that got hurt was my dignity, my ego. Been down here a couple of times, but usually just flew in and you know, stayed on a beach somewhere and took off during margaritas for a few days or whatever. And, this is a whole nother trip. Just seeing all types of stuff I've you know, never seen before and going to places, you know, that most people won't and don't see. Big Daddy is usually on two wheels, but having broken his leg, this trip he drove the support truck, cooking meals and keeping the bikes running. It's kind of nice just chilling on the chase crew. They're relying on my, you know, knowledge of where to go and what to do, because I have so much experience down here. I always thought, like, riding motorcycle was better than sex, because sex can only last so long, and down here I can ride my bike forever. You just don't even think about pain or anything else. It's just pure enjoyment. Okay? Watch the cactus, watch the cactus. Bike went there and I did the run, I was off the side of it and did the flip and roll over here. And bike went there and took the cactus out. 1.5 miles down, 180 to go. Okay, in the middle of Baja, we ran out of gas. Well, we, I, we spent an, a good hour trying to yeah, find a road, like, which is what yeah. he calls a road. It's not really a road. The term road is really loosely <laughs> used in this trip, <laughs> right? I just don't know what you guys mean by road. Another adventure for sure. Got lost, ran out of gas, sat on the side of the road. It was great. <laughs> good day, man. Come to Baja. My impression was like, well, hell yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. Am I having fun? I have to make it down to Cabo in one piece to see my son and my wife, and I'm like, I'm on full-on survival mode. All these guys that I've ridden with, there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. That's just the way it is, you know? You do it for the person next to you. Anytime you're with a group of people doing something, I don't care if it's not your, your ball of wax, but if they're passionate about it and they're into it, you get into it. Lemons in the jar you gave, probably what you think of me. Put them on the shelf to remind me of our love. Bittersweet, scent of clean, pulled me back into a dream. I made a glass of lemonade, what else could I do? There's so much wonder here. 
you're always surprised. You're always surprised by the people. And usually always leaving, going, man, this is just such a wonderful place. Karma is crazy. To look at it from the outside wouldn't really make sense. But it's it's an internal thing, you know. I, I deal with my business up there. It's very structured. Every day is, is a grind, grind, grind. And it starts to wear on you. I don't think I was designed to do that. I work a block from my house, but I feel less lost when I'm really lost out in the desert. I've been thinking on this trip every single day that I didn't want the ride to end. I've been enjoying it more and more, looking around more and more, taking a big deep breath. After six days, they pull into a pause. One day left to the tip of Baja, Time to reflect on a timeless journey. I found myself on the open road. The sky opened up into gold. A freedom I knew when I was a boy. For the ways of the world chipped away at my joy. Baja never changes and is always different. It's a bond, an adventure of a lifetime. Because sometimes you have to get away to find yourself. My dad taught me that. I guess guys would throw a leg over the bike for different reasons. Some say you might be a little masochistic. Some say you, you just love being on two wheels. You love being out in the, the wilderness, the, the middle of nowhere. It's something about going through a, a tough time and, and pushing yourself and pushing others and relying on these other people that create these very, very strong bonds. You come down here with, with people you hardly know and you leave a band of brothers. Drunk on tequila in the old ghost town It's God's country and the devil's playground It's good for your heart, it's good for your soul And the view from Lajitas 